What is going on everybody? Tyler Brandt back here again with another video and we are going to stick in the draft part of the NFL offseason for this one and it's kind of a follow up to the mock draft which I posted last week and we're going to start to review some players for the combine and before the combine and after the combine we'll probably do a few of these and this is just some mostly high level prospects not all of them were on my draft board for New England at least not right away. But it's going to be just a few, again, high-level prospects that I think New England should have on their radar and players that I think can come in and make an immediate impact and sort of begin their NFL career with New England. And let's just jump right into it. We're going to start with the safety from LSU. We're not going to stray from the mock draft. We're going to start with Grant Del Pitt coming out this season. He's forgoing his senior year to come out and what a better time to come out. He's the best safety in the draft, and he should be a lock to go in the first round. He's a very, very good player, so let's break down some of his good, some of his bad, his player comp, and how I think he can fill a role with New England. So let's first start off with basically what's at the top of all the scattering reports for him, and that is he can absolutely knock your socks off when he hits you. He's a very, very hard hitter. He plays downhill. When he hits you, you are going to feel it which then goes into one of his other big strengths, which is down in the run game. So he can come down, kind of play like an extra linebacker position. He, again, like I said, plays downhill. Great in the box. He can stuff the run in the box. He can drive the box. He can make plays in both the run and the pass game. Now, his natural downfield, downhill experience and the way that he plays kind of makes him fit like a glove at the strong safety position. That's the position that he naturally can play with his skill set, and that would be the position where he makes the most immediate impact in the NFL. However, with that being said, he can play strong safety. He absolutely can. It might be a little bit more of a rough transition if you need him to be your strong safety, but regardless, he is very good in coverage. He's not an elite cover safety, but he is very good in coverage, especially in the short to intermediate zone coverage. He has excellent ball skills, and he's a great athlete. So he makes good breaks on the ball. Again, he's kind of a ball hawk in that middle zone area which could be in the AFC with a Lamar Jackson and kind of the elite teams that are in that short to intermediate passing game, he could make an immediate impact there as a pass defender. He also has good fluidity, which kind of his ability to turn his hips and make tackles in the run game and turn around on a ball in the pass game is what helps him be able to transition so easily between strong and free safety, although, again, his natural position is strong safety. And finally... He has a leadership presence. He was a leader in the LSU locker room, and he kind of has a field general presence about him. So not only is he, he is he a leader off the field, but he's a leader on the field as well. So again, everything on the pro side that you want in a first-round pick, both on the field, off the field, and I'm all in on Grant Del Pitt. But like any prospect, he's definitely not perfect. Now, as I said, he the con, if you want to call it that, is he can't, position perfectly between free safety and strong safety. I don't know, you know, nail the kid on the cross for it. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. The two biggest concerns that I've read about him is, again, something I addressed in the last video. He's not a poor tackler, per se, but he has occasionally taken bad angles to balls, which has affected his ability as a tackler throughout his college career. So he sometimes takes bad angles to the ball and bad angles to the ball carrier, and especially against speedy receivers in open space and speedy runners in open space, it could come back to burn him. And the last real con is he reacts late to deep balls, which I guess if you're looking in the AFC, especially with teams like Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, you know, teams that go down the field like that, could really come back to bite you. But it's not a liability. It's just a weakness in his game. It's not some sort of a glaring issue. They're really, like most first-round prospects, there isn't really a glaring issue in Grant Del Pitt's game. And if you want to go back and watch some film or watch some highlights from him, I mean, you can go and just Google him. He, he's got highlights in every game. But specifically, some of the games that I've noticed that he stood out in was against Mississippi State. I believe he had 11 tackles. Uh, a couple weeks before that in Florida, versus Florida, he had two pass deflections, and eight tackles, and I think maybe a tackle for loss, 
And then in the national championship game, he made a couple big plays. He had a tackle for loss, again, from the safety position, which is very impressive. He had a sack on Trevor Lawrence, which was very impressive. So... In big games, he does show up again. The Florida game, Florida's a good team. Clemson in the national championship game, he is a big game player, and I'm all in on him. Now, if you've made it to this part of the video, the easiest way, I can tell you all the pros and cons, but the easiest way to compare and, and kind of get an idea of what he's like is to compare him to an NFL player. So, the player that a lot of people have compared him to is, funny enough, LSU, former LSU safety, Jamal Adams. Now, it's both of their abilities down in the run game and down in the box to make a difference that's kind of made them stand out as much as they had. Uh, from what I've read, Jamal was not as good in pass coverage as Del Pitt, though. So I think that made the, be the biggest difference coming out. But regardless, I mean, you're splitting an atom between that. They're both great players. They're both great college players. And they both, hopefully with Del Pitt, makes an impact in the NFL right away. So, with the 23rd pick, if New England is still in the 23rd pick, and if Del Pitt is still there, sign me up for Grant Del Pitt, the safety from LSU. Get him in here. I'm not sure what the future holds for Devin McCourty, or for Patrick Trunk, for that matter. But specifically, Devin McCourty, with Joe Judge leaving, a few players have come out and said, I would go play for Joe Judge. And with the murky situation between Brady and his contract and getting him weapons, it's only natural that players are going to leave. So McCourty might be one of those players, McCourty, Devin McCourty that is, he's a leader on the field, he's a leader off the field, so if he does leave, whether it's Miami or New York or somewhere like that, then you're going to need someone to replace him, and I think Del Pitt, maybe not right away, especially in the secondary coverage side, I, you know, McCourty had I think five or six picks in the first six or seven weeks of the season, so I don't know in the pass coverage side if he makes an impact like he had last season, like McCourty had last season. However, he does have the talent to be McCourty or even better. So I like getting a leader on or off the field in here just in case. Again, it's a very tumultuous offseason, so get talented guys on both sides of the ball. That starts on the defensive end with Grant Del Pitt. That about wraps up the Grant Del Pitt draft profile. Again, great safety out of LSU. Would love to have him in New England. But that'll also do it for this video. Again, this is one of a few draft profiles we'll do, especially now the draft season's here. We still have some season and reviews coming down the pipe. We'll have some free agent acquisitions or targets down the pipe. We may have some Tom Brady update. Uh, you know, there's been a bunch of different things coming out about him. So we may do one of those. But until next time, once again, I am Tyler Brandt signing out. Also, remember to follow me on socials, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, get at me. I'd love to talk New England. I'd love to talk NFL. Whatever you want to chit-chat about, I'm there for you. But until then, unless I see you on socials, I'll catch you on the next video.